Hey YouTube, it's me, Monster786, coming out with a review for you guys on this IPD silicone case for the iPod Touch first generation. I don't have my first generation anymore, so I'm just going to use it my second generation to show you guys. I This was my first case that I actually did get. Yeah, okay, so it, go, it goes in there like this. You always go from top to bottom because this is fully open. Your iPod Touch will come up from the bottom. And this is what the case looks like on the iPod Touch. As you guys can see, it does have a lip to the so whatever is on the bottom of the surface, it won't touch. You're not, you shouldn't be scared about touching at the screen, because this is like that. And and you do have access to the screen. The only thing I don't like about the iPod, uh, the cases that cover this and this, is when you're typing, you always hit the space bar. Like you always hit that instead of hitting the space bar. That's the major thing I don't like. And you can use it for the second gen iPod. Because the volume buttons and everything is fully accessible, even the dock. Nothing really changed. Uh, except for the auto brightness. That's the only thing that really bugs me, because if I want to use this case, I can't use the auto brightness. So you might, might as well just turn it off. And, yeah, it does have uh, more silicone on the edges to protect the edges. And it does have a little bit of lip here, so if it falls, it probably it will get damaged, but not much. Because the lip, you guys can see here, the lip would probably like protect it. I'm not sure about like using this as a uh, regular case. You can use it as like a case that you can use sometimes because it won't protect it from drops or anything, but it will protect it from scratches. That's for sure. It didn't come with like a screen protector or anything. That's a downside. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe.